So we're looking at a pair of coho salmon, uh, male, which is the brighter colored, and the female, which looks like she has a white tail. Um, that's actually the result of her scales losing their pigment as she digs in the sand and gravel to build a nest for her eggs. Coho salmon enter the Columbia River um, during the summertime and depending on how long their journey is up to their spawning grounds, um, they usually start spawning in late summer, early fall. So here the male is encouraging the female to keep working on the nest, to keep laying eggs that he can fertilize, and here she goes, displacing sand and gravel in order to either dig a pit where she'll lay her eggs or to cover up eggs that she's already laid and the male has fertilized. And she'll continue to do this until she lays all of her eggs, usually around 5,000 or so. After laying the eggs and building the nest to her satisfaction, she'll sit on the nest, protecting it from predators. That could be other fish or animals or humans. So now a second male has arrived in the vicinity of the nest and both the male and the female vigorously defend it. Oftentimes the second male may be able to sneak in and fertilize a female's eggs. So the original male on the nest is, is usually vigilant about protecting his territory. So after spawning the coho adults start to break down and you can see the female's eye tissue already gone. Um, her, her body will start to break down and once she expires uh, her carcass will then feed bugs that are living near the nest that her newly hatched fry in several months will be able to feed on.